Hello and welcome, my name is Jason and today I want to show you a little bit about how to import, edit, and export an NCAA 14 Dynasty file on the PS3 to your computer so that you can edit it and then put it back on the PS3. So first things first, you've got to have a Windows operating system to do this. Um, I'm obviously on a Mac and so I use Parallels um, with my bootcamp partition. So anyway, I'm going to go into my Windows here. And then you have to copy your save to a flash drive, simple enough. Um, and then first thing, I also like to just put a copy of it on my desktop, just so that I can have a backup in case something happens uh, and I have to start it over. Uh, and then again, there are a couple of things that keep it from working uh, on the game. So you cannot have any team builder teams. That's the number one thing. And then if you uh, use a pre-existing coach, you cannot give that coach a level boost when you begin the game. You can do it before you start the game mode, or you can create your own coach, whatever, but you cannot pick an existing coach and then proceed to give him a bonus few levels when you begin. You have to up his levels before you start the game. Now, once you do that, you go into uh, the computer here, and the first thing you want to open is Brute Force Save Data. And this is the way, this is the program here um, that will actually uh, break open the PlayStation's encryption and uh, make it so this file is editable. So you got to go into your, uh, you have to choose your path for your save data folder so that you can get your list here of all the different files. I only carry the one. I don't want it to be too convoluted. And so I'm going to go ahead and choose this which is my fictional file. I'm actually working on a fictional roster based on this. And so you want to go and decrypt all files. And it's going to work here for five or 10 seconds and it's done. So you go back to this folder, open it up. First thing, delete this. Thank you for your work PFD tool, but I don't need your file in this. Second thing, find the USR dash data document and then add an extension of .mc02, enter. And you want to add that extension so that you can open it up in either the uh, Dynasty Editor or the EA Database Editor. I prefer the Dynasty Editor uh, for this, and so this is what it's going to look like. You open up your usr-data.mc02, and it's going to take 5, 10 seconds, maybe even 15 or 20. Um, this is just a mess right here. This is a mess. There's so much information in this. Uh, so be very patient with this program. It takes quite a while. As you can see, um, this has every player in the game and every recruit in the game as well, um, plus a lot of other crap that... Um, you know, I haven't even decided to dive into yet. And now, from here, you can export your tables for your players. Um, your players and recruits are the big two. And so I'm going to go ahead and export these for the next tutorial. Um, but you can go and export these to CSV, which is openable and editable by uh, Microsoft Excel. And so if you want to go in and change somebody's name, you can actually do it in this particular editor program, but it's a lot easier if you want to do mass editing um, to put it into Excel. For instance, I actually exported the original player's file uh, from this to um, Excel, and then I changed everybody's name to XX that was already on the game. Um, so I could make sure that I have nothing but computer-generated prospects as the base for this roster that I'm creating. So you want to export your player attributes and recruits is the other tab. Uh, those are the big two that you would really want to export. Um, and so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and export them for the next tutorial here. Um, but I do believe those are really the main two. There aren't a whole lot of other things that you really are going to want to do here. Um, You want to export the current table, and so this is going to be recruits, 
And again, it's going to take five or ten seconds to export this to a uh, CSV uh, Excel document. And you can go in and you can edit these players. You can change this guy's name from Mike Gaines to, you know, I don't know, Mike Haynes. How about that? You can go and change his name, whatever. All you got to do is file and save. That's all you got to do. And then once you're finished, just go in, save it. And it's going to take five or ten seconds to save. Click OK. Go into your file here. And you're going to want to remove your players and recruits.csv. I'm going to go ahead and move them to the desktop because I uh, still need those files for later. But go ahead and delete them from here. And then you want to take the .mc02 extension off of your user data file. Click OK. Go back into Brute Force. Encrypt PFD. you got to click that before you click anything else or this will not work and encrypt decrypted files. Click yes, and this will take five or 10 seconds. And then once it's done, uh, you can put your flash drive back into the PlayStation, copy it to it, and open it back up with your changes made within NCAA 14.